Hello there. I really, really enjoyed doing this. It's been a while since I've done a, a, a nice smudgy planner. I just, it, it's so satisfying, like looking at all the colours. And I think I, li I like, I like choosing the colours. I've got some really nice chalks and there's some nice subtle colour variations you can get. And I quite like the, the, the dust and the light shining through the dust. It gives all sorts of different tones to it. I, I also get to use my favourite cheat with this picture, which is drawing a circle and cutting it out and then using it to make the planet the right shape because I can never do it and unless I've drawn around something I'm so bad I did a picture the other day and I, I had to do this crescent lit planet on the horizon I'm sitting at an angle to it which is my main lazy fault that I do and I deserve all the rubbish pictures I get for it because if I actually did just put a a board with a couple of blocks behind it and angled it slightly that would solve that whole problem but yeah i got a, a kind of a mango shaped planet and i had to redo it it, it looks all right now but <laughs> i looked at it and i thought why is this person so tall why is this planet so weirdly shaped oh yeah because you didn't think you daft girl anyway um yeah, this one, I really, I, I really got a lot out of doing it. It's kind of, you'd think it's quite dull, but all of those asteroids are different. The thing that amazes me in Elite is, is like you've got your planet and your planet's the same. And you accept that the planet's the same, but you don't think about the asteroids around the star. You don't, you don't think about the gravel. And the gravel's the same too, so every time you go in, that those rocks are the same rocks. And, and you know, if you were to name a rock you were very fond of in a planetary ring, which some people do, I know, <laughs> it's got like 100% tritium in or something ridiculous like that. And they, they value this to the extent that they are going to keep an eye peeled for it and they work out where it is in the planetary ring so that they can make their way back to it. It'll always be there. Um, if you blow up rocks though, they do go, but they gradually repopulate themselves. I'm not sure how many weeks it takes or how many days it takes, but you'll see the dust cloud from the popped rocks floating amongst the gravel in the ring. You do get to know the specific rock shapes, especially if you're looking for um, ones that you think are going to be mineable, because you get to know which ones are the ones that tend to have the goodies inside that you can crack open. But there are quite a few different designs, if you will. Enough so that when you look at it, it looks completely natural, which is what you want, really. And I think the lighting in these environments is just amazing. The way that if you've got the star, the, the light is a sort of occluded by the, the rocks and peeps out like it would in the real world. And you, you think, well, yeah, that's, that's what they're making. They're making it look like that. And I'm sure there's something mathematical going on. But it's just, it's, it's, they're just, they're just so impressive. And obviously I like colouring in circles. So that's quite satisfying. This actually didn't take that long to make, amazingly. Even though I had to colour in a lot of rocks. I think they've underused actual asteroid fields. I don't feel there's much reason to go into an asteroid field particularly. Back in the day when I thought I'd try it, I found all the minerals that were mineable there were quite low grade. Maybe it might be nice if the actual free floating asteroid fields could be could could be populated with the occasional, you know, the rock hermits or the uh, little dugouts, not not on the scale of your asteroid base. I kind of like the idea of them being a a place with pirates and danger. It could be, it could be a solution to the lack of anarchy. Anyway, okay, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you for watching. Uh, uh, I really always appreciate it. And uh, thank you. All right, bye. <laughs>